All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our call with Kaylin King. As always, please raise your hand and we'll call on you. Start with Greg Pickle. Good morning, Kaylin. Thanks for your time today. Good morning. Kaylin, when you look at this Michigan offense, what are some of the ways you see it as uh, and ways they can challenge you? And then what ways do you think you match up well with it? Oh, well, I feel like the Michigan offense is very balanced. You know, they got a lot of playmakers over there. They got a, they got a strong running game. They got some uh, consistent receivers. So I feel like uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a very good matchup for us. Rich Carcello. Kalen, what does it mean to you uh, to be playing this game at Michigan Stadium, not far from home, and how many friends and family will you have there? I mean, it, it means a lot because, first of all, I'm from Michigan originally, so, like, it's always good to, like, I, it's almost like a homecoming game because, like, I get to go back to, you know, who I'm familiar with. I can see a lot of familiar faces, and uh, I can just um, – get a chance to play against a lot of people that I'm already like familiar with from back home. So I, I plan on having like a lot of people at this game. Tyler Donahue. Caitlin, what do you think your uh, defense learned about itself through the 5-0 and start? And where do you think you were able to kind of focus in a little bit extra with that bye week? Uh, I mean, I think we um, – our defense learned that we got a lot of playmakers on the field. Like, our, uh, we got a lot of positions that's very stacked all all across the board. And I feel like, um, what was the second question again? Well, what were some areas that you really focused in on during the bye week as a as a defensive group? Uh, uh, during the bye week, it just allowed us to like just just focus in on Michigan more, like the, the personnel, their formation, the schemes, like what what their most um, likely to do so. Like I feel like we, we got a, a good grasp of the Michigan team. We just ready to go out there and uh, perform. Can you go? Hey, 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 Porter Jr. leads the nation in pass breakout with ten. Well, you run third with nine. How much do you push each other to succeed day to day? Uh, we push each other a lot, man. Practice is very like um, practice is very energetic man we always competing we always trying to find a way to just get better whether that be with the receivers with ourselves we always we always push each other like and that's what the whole group not just me and joey just like everybody in the room from me joey daquan marquise johnny cam miller christian driver like everybody in the room pushes each other to just get better and i feel like that's going to help us in the long run daniel gallon uh, Kalen, this might be kind of a, an, an obvious or easy question, but how do you turn those pass breakups into interceptions? What's kind of the the key there to, you know, go get through that, I guess, little bit from, you know, a PBU to, to an interception? I feel like it's just, it's really just all about positioning and like once you have that opportunity, just capitalizing on it and like, you know, uh, that's really it really, like. Um, I feel like though when I when I get my first one though the the, the other ones are gonna come fairly easy not fairly easy but like it's gonna be like more of a domino effect I would say. Andrew Clay, you talked about going home and playing uh, Michigan, knowing some of these guys. Is this something you and your brother have talked about? Is, is this something? Is there a player you want to go out and just? lay a hit on like how juiced are you to just be back playing some of these guys and be back playing in your home state yeah i'm really juiced man it means a lot to me because like you know i'm i'm from michigan so like just just like the bragging rights you know that's always a thing and then um it's really just like i'm oh i'm excited to play every game so like this really is nothing different it's just like i'm going back home that's really the only difference but i'm i'm, I'm just still excited to you know go out there and battle with my team. Sam Cohn. Hey, Kalen, thanks for doing this. Um, I'm curious, for you and for Joey specifically, how do you feel like Manny Diaz's defense or whatever's changed about Manny Diaz's defense kind of plays into your strengths? Um, and then if you were able to do anything interesting during the off day of the bye week? I just feel like Manny's defense just allows us to, like, be ourselves. Like, we, he got he caused a lot of, like um, – certain play calls for us and like he looks out for us a lot so I feel like uh, the defense just helps us like it just it just allows us to be the playmakers that we are. Mark Brennan. 
Kaylin, how did you end up at Penn State instead of Michigan? You and Kobe. Thanks. Uh, you know, I just felt like the vibe was right. I was uh, I was uh, talking to Coach Terry Smith and Coach James Franklin during most of my recruitment. And I just feel like like those two guys were just like the most genuine people. They they didn't try to sell me too much. They kept it real with me throughout the whole process. And I just feel like that went a long way. That's like most of the reason why I'm here. Spencer Ripchard. Um, so Kalen, I, I what is the difference from last year's buy now that Manny Diaz is defensive coordinator? You said what's the difference between last year's buy and this year's buy? Yeah, and this year's buy now that Manny Diaz is the defensive coordinator. Thank you. I mean, we we uh, you know, it just it just allowed us to um just get a just get a better grasp of our future opponents, you know, like uh, Manny stressed the um the importance of film study and the importance of knowing your opponent, the importance of knowing what's coming next. So I feel like he did a great job with us on that and preparing us to um to go out and um, beat Michigan. Rich Garcia. Kalen, your bio says you want to be a sports analyst. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so put your analyst cap on, and how would you evaluate first Kobe's play this year and then your play this year? Oh, I was just saying, you know, my play, I've been, I say I've been playing fairly well, but there's a lot of things that I got to clean up. And, you know, Kobe – I feel like he's the same way. He's he's made a lot of he's made a lot of splash plays for us, and he and he he showed a lot of signs of um, of greatness. So I feel like if we just keep uh, building and capitalizing and taking it week by week and uh, perfecting, having great practices, having great meetings, and just applying it to when we get on the field, we'll be in great, really good shape. Tyler Donahue. Caitlin, you didn't get a chance to play a ton of football with PJ Mustafer last year as a freshman, um, but. Now that you have played five more with him, what is different about this defense and the way you communicate and the way he leads now that he is on the field with you guys? Uh, PJ, PJ is like, he's like the stone of our defense, man. He's like, he controls the middle. He's very vocal, man. He always, he always got the teams back. You know, anytime the defense is like, anytime we like going through somewhere, like we're not playing as we should, he's always there to pick us up. He always got the encouraging words for us during like halftime and stuff like that. I feel like PJ is a very pivotal has a very pivotal role in our defense, man. And I would I don't think we'd be the same defense without him. Then you go, Kalen. When when you talk about being from Michigan and growing up in Michigan, who were the players that you know you looked up to when you're you know in middle school, earlier high school? You know whether that's Lions, other high schoolers. I mean, who who did you kind of look up to as you were growing up in that area? Oh, in the area, I look up to a lot of people, man, because I used to watch football all the time. I used to go to a lot of high school games with my dad and my brother, man. I used to watch Donovan, Donovan Peoples-Jones a lot. I used to watch LeVert Hill. I used to watch Amber Thomas. I used to watch Donovan Johnson. I used to watch Jalen Kelly Powell, just like, because I went to Cass Tech. So, like, Cass Tech always had a lot of good players, like Damian Webb, Mike Weber. A, a lot of the, the dudes like those, I always just seen growing up because, like, I went to Cass Tech, and, like, before I even got to high school, I was just watching games, just watching high school, seeing what school I just really wanted to go to, and Cass Tech stood out to me because they had so many players of that caliber. So those are just some of the names. Sam Cohn? Kalen, you mentioned before still feeling like you have some things to clean up. I'm curious, from before the start of the season to where we are now coming out of the bye week to kind of where you want to be, where would you draw the line between where you feel like you've grown and where you still have room to grow specifically in your game? Well, I would just say I still have room to grow and like recognizing um, formations and personnel and like what's coming, like and stuff like, and like route concepts and stuff like that. I feel like I can get a better grasp on that. And I'm working on that in, in the film room and stuff like that. But um, I feel like I've been, um, I'm, I've been doing a, a very solid job with, like my tackling and my technique, and it's um, making plays on the ball. Time for three more. Rich Garcello. Kalen, when you watch film of J.J. McCarthy, what are you seeing? Why has he been successful this year? Well, I see a, I see a quarterback who's very talented, man. He's he's like um, he's a he's a very talented kid. He's he's young, but he's experienced. He got like a certain swagger to him. That's like not a lot of quarterbacks in the country have, but um, I feel like it's it's definitely going to be a good game when we see him because 
he's he's a he's a very good quarterback, and we've seen we've seen a couple of good quarterbacks this year. So I, I just believe this is going to be one of the, another one of those games. Tyler Donahue. You guys got Kaziah back on the defensive line last game. Uh, he was involved in the goal line package. Um, what does it mean to to add an experienced Big Ten player at this stage of the season? And and what does it do for your depth up front? I mean, it does a lot because I mean, you know we got a lot of we got a lot of dudes playing very well up front as far as defensive line. And I just feel like the addition of Kaziah Israel just only just benefits us because you know he's a playmaker. He's a very good player. So I feel like. You know, it does nothing but benefit us because we got another playmaker on the defensive front who's, you know, who's going who's to make plays for us. Last question, Mark Brain. Kaylin, how excited are your parents and family for this game? I'm sure there's a buzz about it uh, in your home area there. Thanks. Uh, yeah, they're very excited, man. They was, they've been talking about it for like a couple of days now, man. You know, I'm, I'm just excited to get down there and see a lot of familiar faces and people that I know. But they're they're very excited for this game.